India to Iraq, South Africa to Seoul. Washington 연결해서 자세히 알아보겠습니다. 강태욱 특파원. 네, 워싱턴입니다. The world eyes the White House and who will win the race to live there. The prize for the winner, the most powerful office in the world. And that calls for some powerful worldwide coverage. CNN, the network of choice for affiliates globally, with it being rebroadcast into over 200 countries. Welcome to our viewers here in the United States and around the world. Its news source agreement, seeing the cable news network rebroadcasted on two of our three main networks. We're joined by CNN's chief national correspondent, the great John King. Those on the right and left agree CNN is king of coverage because of John King. Why does this matter? Because this could be the decisive day in this long count. Commended for his little sleep and big task of explaining the complexity of the US election. Remember, this is unusual in American politics. Hillary Clinton wins the popular vote four years ago, but loses the election because Donald Trump won the states that matter. We go state by state, the so-called electoral college. Domestically in the United States, CNN and Fox News have beaten the traditional dominant commercial networks of ABC, NBC and CBS. A stark contrast to the 2016 election where NBC led with 12 million viewers. Now, first place was Fox News with 13 million and NBC with just over 5 million. But all eyes were on when the US networks cut away from a presidential press conference. Okay, here we are again in the unusual position of not only interrupting the President of the United States, but correcting the President of the United States. There's a lot to unpack here and a lot to fact check in real time. And this is really important because the stakes are so high in this presidential election. What a sad night for the United States of America to hear. A polarizing move in a country where there is little middle ground for the media. Back home, our politicians, polar opposite from polarising, playing the game safe. Uh, I'm in for Australia. We've got no better friend in the world than the United States. We've worked with different administrations there. They've worked with uh, different parties in power here. And whatever the outcome, uh, our friendship will be as strong as ever. The world will continue to watch the race for the White House as the greatest political show nears the end of its final act. Jack Hahn, 6 News.